Alright, the next news, guys. The next piece of news. Uh, this one is fun. This one is fun. Dr. Dick Respect literally cannot help himself, man. What did I tell you? My prediction in the last discussion about this was that disrespect was not going to stop. He was going to try to come back and um, we would be the, we'd be here to, uh, to, you know, talk about, discuss about it and be very open about what he did and how he's going to try to obfuscate it. And he did. Remember the statement, guys, where, uh, you know, he made it and he, um, he uh, you know, admitted to messaging a minor and all that? Guess what, guys? He deleted his statement. He deleted his statement trying to act like we would forget. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. Like, d does he think that, like, tweets can't come back? Like, does he think that no one fucking screenshotted it? Like, what is, what does he expect? Is he this dumb? Is he actually this dumb? Does he think that all of a sudden his crimes are, you know, forgiven and forgotten? I mean, it's just amazing. So yeah, he, yeah, uh, Dr. Dirt No Respect. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So yeah, he, he tried to delete his, if you go to his page right now, um, uh, his entire, uh, let's see, let's go, let's go to his page right now. Let's give you the exact information. <clears throat> So, um, he still has this little, like, little idiotic profile picture, so-called, where he tries to, uh, oh, good, Twitch app is being idiotic, uh, where he tries to, uh, uh, you know, state that his confession was bait somehow. This is his, like, banner picture. Uh, I mean, I don't understand what he's trying to say, that he baited everyone into thinking he's a pedophile by messaging minors. I, I, I don't, I don't understand what his implication is. Did he, did he, uh, did he bait people by, you know, <laughs> by cheating on his wife all the time? It's like, what, what, what is, what is the thing? What, what is, what is, what is he trying to bait with it? What, what is this bait? And so his only tweet right now is vacation is too good right now. We'll be back soon, champs, though. We have lots to talk about. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, uh, some, some idiotic, uh, diatribe like that. That's it. That's it. That's all he's got. Uh, and, um, by the way, did anyone ever notice that this picture of him playing, like, apparently chess when we're playing checkers is, uh, with the perspective of the audience being a child? Is, is that, is that a thing people have caught on to? Because that's exactly what it looks like. It looks like he, look at the camera angle. He's up here. The camera is right here. And it's basically implying that he's looking at a child. I wonder why he's playing with children again, guys. Uh, looks like it looks like he just even in his uh, you know return messages, even in his idiotic memes where he's trying to act hard and everything, he literally cannot. He literally cannot stop playing with children. Look at that. Look at that. So let's see what the comments think. Let's see what people think. I know this man ain't gonna try to come back for real. He is. He is. Yeah, just a minor mistake. Yeah, this is a very common uh, common little meme that people are doing. Uh, I do like that, you know, people are actually uh, memeing him. <laughs> Why do you all keep giving this man a platform? We keep talking about it, Peepo, because he has an entire group of celebrity uh, 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 scanning uh, dick suckers. Uh, basically, I'll just call it what it is. Shit eaters and dick suckers that are doing their damnedest to defend him. You, you don't believe me? Look at YouTube right now. Let's do it right now. Let's see. Let's go to YouTube right now. And let's let's put in Dr. Disrespect Comeback. And, you know, you'll have people that are like, you know, uh, like the act man being like, eh, don't, don't do this, go away. But you'll also find, you'll also find people like Nick Merckx. You'll find like all these other people that are like extremely happy that he's back. Showing him triumphant, showing this, showing that. I'm not saying Oompa did. Um, um, I saw that video by Oompa. He's he's actually just memeing him. Um, but like there's like the quartering, for example. Let's just say uh, innocent. <laughs> let's, let's see. Yeah, there you go. Dude, the quartering is the biggest dick sucker on YouTube for Dr. Disrespect. Like he is the hardest of dick riders. 
He is the hardest of dick riders. I don't know how the quartering has 1.72 million subs on YouTube. Like, what the fuck, dude? This guy cannot stop sucking asshole right here, man. Holy shit. But yeah, dude, he is so excited. He is so... He cannot... He cannot stop himself, man. He cannot stop himself. I remember his welcome back after the thing with his wife. Yeah, I mean, this is not the first time he had a he had an affair with his wife. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And so, like, this is why I'm being loud about it. Because there are so many freaks on the internet, on YouTube especially, basically acting like he is innocent in some way. That, you know, his confession was fake or whatever. Any kind of mental gymnastics someone can do, people try to do. Because they're shit eaters, because they're dick suckers. And um, this is this is why. Yeah, I, I, 120 million people saw it and then he deleted it. Exactly, exactly. But yeah, this is why I'm being loud about it. And this is why I'll always be loud about it. If someone does something bad to minors, if someone does something bad to a child, you're fucking right, I'll cover it. If someone does it in the gaming world, absolutely I'm going to call that shit out. And if someone as as unapologetic about it as Dr. Disrespect is, trying to make excuses left, right, and sideways, including his own community doing it, I will absolutely call that shit out too. There's a reason we're so loud about it. Because he is so fucking much an asshole about it as well. It's not that he just did the heinous act. He's acting like he did nothing wrong. He's acting like he can go on vacation to like fucking... Um, uh, uh, you know, whatever, whatever, I think Costa Rica is what he was saying. And then they come back and act like nothing happened. Guess what? The world didn't forget, asshole. You fucking messaged a minor. Inappropriately. You admitted to it. The world is not gonna forget. You lost all of your sponsorships and you deserve every second of it. And I will be here to make sure that people don't forget. You know why? Because I hate people like you. That's why. It is nothing but spite. It is nothing but the most petty level of disgust I have for anyone who does that. Like Ava Chris Tyson, 100% agreed. You want to call them out too? I agree with you. Anyone else you want to call? Dude, if they're, if they're proven to do something like that, I completely agree with you. I have the same energy for everyone. I'm the most consistent motherfucker you will ever find. There you go. There you go. No, 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 not you. Oh gosh, not you, my amazing audience. I'm talking about Dr. Disrespect fanboys. That's what I'm talking about. He had like 300k live when he came back. Yeah, exactly. And he will again. Dude, when he goes live on what is it, like Kick or Rumble or whatever site will take him, whatever slipshod bullshit trash sh site that'll take him. Or if he, you know, streams for free on YouTube, he's demonetized, but he's not banned. Um, I, I, I assure you the numbers will be huge. Even if people hate him, they will, a lot of people who hate him will watch it just to see what happens in that first stream back. And he's counting on it. He's counting on it because he's many things. He's a freak. He's a weirdo. He's a pathetic pedophile. But he is not an idiot. Never underestimate your opponent. Never underestimate the evil in the world. Always, always give them the, uh, the due respect that they have earned uh, from their success know that they're capable of being clever, of coming back from terrible things, of making fools out of the entire world. They are very capable of this shit. Until and unless the greater community as a whole keep him in check. Make sure we keep making the videos about him. Make sure you keep calling the pedophile a pedophile, whether it demonetizes your YouTube video or not. I don't give a fuck. I respect any large content creator that gets demonetized on YouTube for that video by calling a pedophile a pedophile. I only respect that. So don't, don't, uh, don't curtail your words. Call it what it is. I always will. If you like this video, give it a like, give it a sub, share it with your friends, and let me know what you think below. Do you think he's gonna, uh, gonna come back? Do you think he, what, where do you think he's going to try to stream first? Uh, what do you think he's gonna try to do to further obfuscate? I already called that he was gonna try to delete his, uh, his post. Uh, acting like we wouldn't see it, and, and that happened. Uh, and uh, let's let's see what happens in the future. But I will cover it no matter what. Yeah, right now he's Kick's world's most normal streamer. Yeah, exactly. He's world's most normal Kick streamer. Exactly, exactly. But yeah, I'll always cover the news. I'll always give it to you straight. And I'll always call out the bad behavior no matter who or what does it. So hopefully we'll catch you in the next video. And uh, let me know what you think below.
Dude, it's it's so annoying, man. It's so annoying. The fact that there are so many shit eaters. And then there's like the app dude, I actually hate weaponized uh weaponized apathy. Because like people who are just being, oh, you don't want to hear about this anymore. Dude, don't take it up with me. Take it up with the asshole trying to come back. It's not our fault Dr. Disrespect is trying to come back. He he literally has way too much of an ego. He can't help himself. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, I think I think it's uh hopefully he deletes all of his accounts. He won't. He has too much of an ego to do so. <clears throat> But yeah, I think everyone that is, uh, if he's allowed back in, we're so cooked. Yeah, exactly. He should not be allowed back into the greater streaming community at large. Yeah, I, I, I'm going to off stream watch Nick Merckx's uh, statement. Um, and uh, I'll see what he thinks. Because Nick Merckx has been under fire for, you know, all kinds of wacky shit as well. And he's very close to Dr. Disrespect. And a lot of people thinks, think that he knew what Disrespect did. Uh, as well, like he was well aware, uh, and um, I remember his video of um, of like when all this news came out of Doctor Disrespect, and they were like, uh, "What do you think, Nick Merckx?" He gave like the most lackluster thing ever. He was like, "Ah, oh, well, you know, I, I, I guess I can't talk to him anymore. I, I'm not even that. I don't even know him, man. I'm not even that close to him. Uh, just, I'm just a dude in a hat and whatever." whatever. He, he was just trying to like brush it off, like he didn't actually know the guy. Dude, there's no way he didn't know the guy. Like, come on, man. Come on, man. If he said, like, yeah, I was close to him, but he obviously never revealed that, why would anyone reveal that something that negative? Um, I, you know, I'd probably believe a statement more. He didn't say that. Anyways, like I said, that's my diatribe. If you like this video, give a like, give a sub, share it with your friends. Let me know your thoughts below. I would love to hear what you think, and I will respond to every message that I possibly can. Absolutely, absolutely. And uh, we'll cover it in the next video, whatever happens. Good or bad or ugly news, no matter what happens, I will cover it here and I will give you the real answer and real response always. See you in the next video.